welcome to Jeremiah chapter 18, the Potter's House. I'm your host, Nolan Winholtz, and this is my pottery shop. In this program, we bring the pottery shop to you so you don't have to go down to the Potter's House. Uh, with me today, I have a, a very special friend and a brother, Brian Patrick Hargis. We've been uh, friends, gosh, for about 30 years, and since he's counting backwards, he's only 27 years old. <laughs> but uh, Brian has been a Tremendous blessing to me, my family, and everybody I've known when he sings, when he sings his music and plays his instruments. What do you play now, Brian? About 20 different instruments? Somewhere around 18, 20 instruments. And, and very well, I might add. Mm -hmm. uh, Brian has ministered in song all over the world. Actually, Brian went to uh, Israel. He's going to tell us a little bit about that later on today. But right now, we just want to give the program to Brian Patrick Hargis. <laughs>
Brian, that was fantastic. Love your music. Always loved your music. It's just wonderful to have Brian Patrick Hargis with us here today on Jeremiah chapter 18, The Potter's House. I'm, again, I'm Nolan Winholtz. Brian has been a musician and traveled all over the world. And you just got back from a trip to Israel that was what, supposed to last five days? What, what happened, Brian? I thought we were going there for four days. Four days, days okay. And three nights. And it lasted how long? Well, you know, you've all heard that. If you ever want to hear God laugh, just telling your plans. <laughs> he was laughing because I was there for three full moons, almost three full months. So as the wind blows, so it is with those who are led by the Spirit. <laughs> and then, that's one of my favorite ones, too. <laughs> okay. And then you told me you took the Jesus Trail. Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Okay. So tell us a little bit about that. And does it have something to do with that song you just sang? Oh, well, Pray Through the Wall is actually... I'll get to that in just a second. Uh, well, a minute. <laughs> um, the Jesus Trail was it was brutal and it was beautiful. Well, too, you know. Um, enlightening? Because I was there and... Inspiring, enlightening? Well, yeah, absolutely. The entire trip. Uh, but I was by myself and I was carrying a guitar on my shoulder with a backpack and three liters of water and I didn't see anyone on the trail the whole time and then I realized, well, it's because in the summertime nobody does it because... I found out it was over 110 degrees in one valley, and um, you used to weigh 300 pounds. Now you're down to <laughs> what, what yeah. You <laughs> well, you know, I started in Nazareth, and I've been praying for rain. They says it never rains around here, and on the way to Nazareth on the bus, because uh, I uh, it, it rained some, and you had to use just wipers, which is a very rare thing. So I said, this is a sign for sure from heaven that I must be <laughs> in the right place. And, so before I even got out of Nazareth, I had been tubbed on my pants, my pants and my shirt with these right. kids and whatever, because I was playing guitar, uh, carrying a guitar and to play them a song. And then I went out of Nazareth, and by the time I got to Cana, I was so worn out, I'd gotten off the trail because some bulldozers knocked some of the markers off. Well, anyway, uh, I fell asleep against the wall. And woke me up and said, you can come upstairs. Uh, there's a wedding going on. And when they come back, he's going to give you a room. I said, oh, wonderful. So when they got back, praise the Lord, at Cana, where Yeshua performed his first miracle, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, I played for a wedding that night. You did? Yes. So. How appropriate. Yeah. And uh, just the <laughs> entire trip, there were things like happening like that every day. I slept in the cave at Mount Arbel. I'm not supposed to do that. But uh, where the uh, Maccabean <laughs> fortress was. Okay. Um, and this, it, gosh, I was all over Israel from Masada to Caesarea. You've been to Masada? Caesarea? Okay. Acre, uh, wow, Haifa, wow. Carmel twice. Awesome stories. Capernaum, Tagba. Uh, uh, um, gosh, Jerusalem. The Praying Through the Wall, the song Praying Through the Wall, I didn't really realize what that song was about until I got to Israel and got especially to Jerusalem. And a fellow from, I played it, and a friend uh, that I'd met from Israel, uh, Michael, he says, that song is for the Jews. He says, and I said, well, it's for the world and for all of us. He says, yeah, but it's especially for the Jews. And the Wailing Wall, I said, this song's called Pray Through the Wall. And I said, oh, wow. Wow. And it you've was, been doing that song for 20 15 years. Uh, yeah, I wrote this song um, <laughs> years ago and I finally realized, bless the Lord, what, what it uh, was really meant. The perfect context was there in, in Jerusalem. Yeah, and then, uh, and actually I was sent over there and called to pray at the Welling Wall in Gethsemane and praying for the peace of Yerushalayim and Israel and and the, the world and our country and everything. And um, that's the reason I was there. So I ended up praying underneath the city, praying at the highest points, at the ramparts, on Mount, on the Mount of Olives, and in Gethsemane. And uh, that's where the sunbeams came down. Holy Spirit. You showed me the photographs. Maybe we'll be able to put those on the program. Wow, that would be great. That was great. Because I truly believe that prayed. was an answered prayer. You had prayed. Lord, show me where Jesus, Yeshua's favorite place was. When he was pray. here, when Jesus Yeshua was here, where was his favorite place to pray? And then, like, immediately? How soon, after, how immediately. soon thereafter? Immediately I walked afterwards. out of Lionsgate, and these beams just... <laughs> light beams start shining out of the sky. The, the sun, sun's rays begin to illuminate mm. like a garden area? Yeah. Okay. The Garden of Gethsemane. Wow. 
And uh, it was confirmed by a friend of mine, uh, Roddy Harlan, mm -hmm. with some friends of his that had seen and they really believed that was his favorite place to pray. And it was, uh, they had an entire experience for me was so enlightening. And it, it was, you know, being out there in the wilderness and sleeping at night with jackals coming all around and howling, and I was in some safe places. So we just build you a fire. Well, I didn't have any matches <laughs> or a lighter. So, uh, but I was never afraid. I did. I knew. I mean, it was hot. It was brutally hot. I mean, I actually two days were. I was running out of water. But um, and then I found this beautiful pool, not very big, but it was one that deep. But they could drink from the pool, and I just lay back in it and. The Lord, I don't know. I, uh, Save I, you. He's so he's so 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 kind and benevolent. This experience, Yahweh was, Yara, our provider. Yeah, and in in, in uh, a Christchurch there in Jerusalem, in old Jerusalem, I stayed there and I stayed in Galilee, and every place that I went, the Lord was just opening up doors, and people were being ministered to, and people were being healed. Uh, it's just. Uh, one day I could write a book, and I will. Yeah. Put together my own documentary, matter of fact. For those of you who are, who are enjoying Brian Patrick Hargis for the first time, he is a he is a, a channel for songs from heaven. Mm -hmm. Literally, every day of his life, he gets a great song, Amen. And, and it just pours right through him. And it's just an amazing. If you are a pastor out there and you would like to have him come and do a concert, mm -hmm. minister. He is absolutely a minister. He's got a thousand great songs. He has some that are very popular, some that I, I really, just really love. He has to do it every time. You have to do Masterpiece, and like you're, you're doing Masterpiece today. Masterpiece, one of The my Portrait favorite of the songs, King. The Portrait of the King. It's a wonderful song, one of my all-time favorites. So if you're a pastor out there and you want to bless your congregation with a great musician and psalmist and minister of the gospel, then Brian Patrick Hargis is a great guy to have come by and visit. Well, thanks very much. My sister actually, my sister Donna actually, she says, what's that? When I wrote it that afternoon after hearing uh, Pastor Tom Underhill, yeah. he gave a, a message and I went there uh, that afternoon and immediately the song just came. It was just, it, it, just like it was, it was this bam, it just happened just like that, mm -hmm. that fast, within minutes. And she came and heard it and she says, what's that? I said, it's the portrait of the king. And she said, you need to call that the masterpiece. So. So with all the glory so to God. So you wrote a song called The Masterpiece because it's about a portion of the king. Yeah. And um, Therefore it fits. And it's and a great song. It's one of those perfect songs you hear and you go, wow, he nailed it. And what was so awesome is that I was singing in uh, uh, Christ Church for a, a lot of Jews who aren't really, you know, believers yeah. yet. Some of they them came in there yet. and it was just, <laughs> well, the spirit moved. It, so it was... Some people were in tears. There was weeping, and they were all some of them getting on the floor, and they were just praising the Lord. And it was just so beautiful, so awesome. And wow. almost every day was there was something going on every day that God was just being glorified. I mean, Abba, Abba, Father is so kind. Mm -hmm. There's just being there where Yeshua walked, where He talked, where He preached, where He danced with joy when they came back and told Him they'd been delivering people from oppression. And everything was so wonderful. Yeah. Um, I don't have anything but good to say. And many, many songs were born mm -hmm. right there on the spot, whether it was in Nazareth. Of course, when I did go play the square in Nazareth, the first thing I sang was, Oh, then the Nazareth was <laughs> I did I sing the weight, but I'm very... You know, um, but the thing that was really on my heart was, uh, was Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Where my heart is it's for the Jerusalem and for the all the earth, for the lost sheep of Israel, and yeah, amen. I miss praying for the peace of back. Jerusalem, and you prayed for our nation as well. As oh, while you were there, every day, yes, every day. We, had a, lot of stuff, we had a lot of stuff going on here while oh, you were in Israel. In a amen, and I mean, really, very underneath the very foundations in Zedekiah's caves, which became King Solomon's mines, or parts of them. And I mean, everywhere. I mean, we, we were praying, I was with some other people. Most of the time I was by myself and just praying whatever the Lord put on my heart and praying. 
actually weeping and wailing. You can't help but but you can't help but weep for 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 for, for all creation that yeah. moans and weeps and travails and you you know you cry and weep and wail for the Jews and I would go where people thought I was crazy because I was kissing the gates, I was kissing the walls, and every day I was laying hands and just praying for the fulfillment of the purpose of God there. And um, Amen. everyone needs to go to Jerusalem. They need to go to Israel. <laughs> and your life will never be the same. Don't go as a tourist, but go as a pilgrim. Go as one called to the Lord to find out truly where the Holy of Holies still is. It's magnificent. Yes. <laughs> and we also understand that we we, uh, we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We are. We are. And the Holy of Holies is also here. We don't Absolutely. Wanna, we don't want to diminish that reality as well. Not, not at all. Because both are true. But everyone used to go to this room. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Amen. Thank you for the And pray for land. Israel. Pray for Jerusalem. Pray for the right. peace because the Lord said he would bless those who pray for the peace Amen. of his people. That's right. And we are all his children. His children. And, and we got a president now who's going to be favorable. Is favorable to Israel. And we need to pray. Loves for Israel. Is going to going to stand up for Israel. Praise yeah. God. Yes. Amen. So, did you see any potters while you were over there? I did see none of them in action. But I okay. did see two the entire time I was there. Okay. I couldn't talk to them much because they didn't talk much much English. But I told them about my friend. So this friend of a friend said, "Well, he's a potter." And I said. Yeah, and they didn't really speak much English. Okay. But uh, there were, I was surprised that most of the people in Jerusalem who do speak English speak better than most people in the United States. Yeah. Man, they're polished on their English. <laughs> Nothing against, but you know, they don't have that, the slang. They don't have, they don't sound like they're from any particular place. So where are you, where are you going this year? New Year, are you going back to Israel? Are you going? Didn't you say something about going to Uganda? I, go to I have been invited to go to Uganda with you, and for these uh, the family from Scotland, um, you could help us go to Uganda. Go ahead. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Um, I, I believe I'm called to definitely go back to St. John, uh, where we helped uh, freshwater churches. In the Caribbean. Where, yes, I uh, I helped. Uh, so I helped just, to a small degree. I started uh, planted a Uganda. church there. Okay. And, well, and I, then and then go back to Israel and then uh, in uh, England. Okay. Hey, that about wraps things up here at uh, Jeremiah chapter eighteen. I want to thank my friend Brian Patrick Hargis. Check him out on Facebook. We don't do Twitter yet, do we? I do, but <laughs> you know your Twitter account. Uh, wait a minute. Is we're, it... we're a little bit old school, but we are counting backwards, <laughs> so we we're gonna eventually gonna catch up. So uh, you can follow Brian Patrick Hargis on Facebook. Everywhere he travels, he puts songs up on Facebook, spontaneous songs. He, he gets them all the time. Just about every day he lo uploads a, a yeah. song. And uh, I know that it will bless you. It has blessed me. And again, if you're a pastor, you want to have him come in to do a concert and really bless your people, I would really, really recommend Brian Patrick Hargis. Oh. Yes. From well, Monroe, Monroe, Louisiana. Louisiana. Monroe, Louisiana. Monroe, Louisiana. Monroe, Louisiana. This is where I'm we're at. raised in Dumas, Arkansas. I spent Dumas, a lot of my Arkansas. life in Texas, and I've lived actually all over the country. Yeah. But a lot of it is also in northwest Arkansas. Yeah. In the Ozarks. Beautiful country. Yes. Okay. Well, everybody, I thank you so much for joining us. Jeremiah chapter 18. Again, I'm Nolan Winholtz. Thank you for coming and being at my pottery shop, getting a word from the, from the Lord. We're going to feature local artists and missionaries and people who travel the world who have experiences about the things that God has done in and through them. Myself, but many others as well. So God bless you and thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Before the first day was created, from his everlastingness He was daily celebrated At the throne of righteousness When the Father's Spirit hovered It was man he was mindful of It was Jesus and no other Who was his greatest gift of love 
There was a fall down in the garden, a separation from my hem. And no man could beg his pardon, but then a promise to Abraham. Through Isaac, Jacob, and Judah was by blood and not by deed. And with his grace, glory, hallelujah, he blessed his covenant seed. And you can see the master artist plan as he painted his picture with each stroke of his mighty and he points to Yeshua our Savior at the throne of his righteousness seventy thousand angels sing to him give all the prophets witness with the portrait of the king
This ministry functions on your prayers, your gifts, and your offerings. Please consider a gift today. I'm Nolan Winholtz, and thank you for joining us.